Now I've done a video already on using the sum and count functions, but what I'm going to do is to kind of take it one step farther. We're going to look at using the group by option uh, within, our, uh, within our queries itself. And so if you remember, if I do a, basically a quick um, sum of, let's say, my price, I can basically go ahead and run this, and you're going to get the sum of the total price. But now I may want to ask myself, instead of a total price, I may want to only I want to run all the records, but I want them to be grouped by certain things. Like, for instance, on this particular one, probably by author, and I can actually pull off the total price of each one of my authors individually, and have all of those records displayed. So let me just show you what I mean by that. If I go ahead, instead of saying select all, I can't use the asterisk for this any longer when I, when I do the functions. And so what I'm going to need to do is I need to pick the fields that I want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and say author ID as one of the fields that I want to see, as well as the price. Now, if I did this by itself and run it, what we're going to see here is it gives, gives me the authors, each one of the authors and the prices for this, just as it would normally in my table, but without the other information. What I really want to do is I want to group together all of the prices and total all the prices up. So for instance, if I did the sum function on price right now and I hit run, I'm going to come back with an error. It's, it's basically what it's saying is not a, it's not a single group. Something's not right as far as my method or my thought process of trying to get this. And that's because it doesn't understand that I wanted to group things together. And so what I need to do is type in this group by command. So I'm going to type in group by and I'm, I'm saying that I want it to group by my authors or author ID field. And so what that's going to do is it's going to take each one of those individual authors and run the sum price or sum function on the price. And so if I hit run now, you'll see that each one of the authors, author one, that's the total sum of the price field for author one. Author two, same thing for there, and author three. And to help you out, a lot of times using the field that you want to group things by or kind of categorize them all by, um, usually have that one as your front, your forerunner here for your fields to be listed, and then you know just drop it down here for the group by as well, so you understand that you're grouped by it, and then you'll do your function after that. So let's just quickly go back to the full table, and I'm going to do this for a different scenario on my table. So we'll just do select everything from books, and rather than adding up all the prices for each author, I may want to do something like similar. Ask a question. You know, how many books does each author have? And so I've got different author IDs here, just three different author IDs, and I want to know the total number of books that I have in stock or that I have in my database from each one of the authors. And so if I wanted to have that, I need to ask myself, what am I grouping it by? And I'll be grouping it by author IDs. And so what I'll do is I'll start it off here with the author ID, and that's my first column. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, what function do I want to run? Well, I want to count up the total number of books. And I can actually pick pretty much uh, several different columns here for, for me to use here. I'm going to use title because that's just to me it makes sense. And so I'll just go ahead and say to count up the titles. So let's say count title and that's going to be my function from books. And then I need to say group by. And so I'm going to group it by my author ID. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll just end up with a semicolon and hit run. And you'll see that I grouped together all my author IDs and then counted them all up. Six, so six books come from author one, three books come from author two, and one book comes from author three. And again, if I wanted to put a different title heading for this instead of count title, I could go ahead and within the comma separated value here, so I've got author ID, I could go ahead and call that something else if I wanted to. Let's just say um, as author number and I'm just changing the name of that same thing for this function here count title I'm going to say as and we're just going to say total books and if I rerun this you're going to see I've got the author numbers there and then total books from each one of those author numbers and so this is the video on using the group by with a function one other thing I could do if I really wanted to, um, and you got to be careful on your sort, but I could also add an order by, depending on the column that I wanted to have an order by, and that may be something useful too. So this concludes the video on using the group by.